Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on how to spend money wisely and um, for this video I've like taken a lot of time to like jot down notes and um, give you some advices on how you can spend your money wisely and um, so I hope you like the video and yeah so okay the f number one first rule is that um, oh by the way this video is like made for ladies because I'm um, a woman myself and um, like I have no idea how a man like thinks and how he spends his money so like um, this video is made for ladies so yeah okay so the number one rule is that um, if you are gonna buy something that is not really necessary like a pair of shoes um, don't buy them like impulsively but go home and think about them for at least about a week if you still want them after a week or maybe two weeks then go ahead and get them and that's what I did with my Melissa shoes that I got like this pair for the season and um, I must have thought about it for like over a month before um, I spent on uh, buying them so I decided on buying them yeah and um, the second thing is avoid the prepaying services unless you're absolutely sure that you're going to use it. Um, I know that prepaid services are a lot cheaper like for the gym or you know like things like that but if you're not absolutely sure that you're going to use it then don't prepay for such services because you're going to end up losing all your money and not using their service at all. So yeah. And then um, Avoid buying items that are not going to last long that are expensive, such as like um, really expensive clothing, you know, like because once they go out of trend, um, you probably have to pay someone to get rid of them. I know there are certain people who like to buy like designer clothes and things like that and I'm not trying to tell you not to, you know, like if you really want to get like a really nice designer blouse or something like that, um, you know like save up for it and um, don't buy too many of those because like once they go out of style you don't know what to do with them and yeah so that's my advice and um, then um, buy things that has a potential in increasing its value such as a good quality diamond or 24 karat gold so I personally like to buy like um, 24 karat gold and invest in them but um, you can buy paper gold or you can buy like gold jewelry but because I'm like a VIP in the store so I get the handicraft fee like 65% off and um, so I prefer to like get a piece of like jewelry like that so that I can wear it and also like save money or sometimes even make money out of it when the gold price is high but the important thing to do is that you have to download um, like an app called the Kiko Life and it will have like a gold trend that tells you what kind of trends that it's going towards you know like going up with like falls and uh, like highs and things like that so you wouldn't be gambling because um, like personally I'm a Christian and I'm against gambling and gambling is really like risky because you can lose a lot of money so um, um, do this as, as an investment or you know you know then you would be safe yeah and um, try not to put a lot of cash in your wallet because um, that is going to like lead to impulsive buying for example like if you put like a lot of cash in the wallet you might maybe see like a nail polish or something that you don't really need or you have a similar one at home and you immediately buy it because you have that convenient cash so I only keep like $20 in my wallet you know and um, so knowing that I have such like little cash in my wallet I would think very carefully before I spend on something that is unnecessary and um, also buy clothes for only two seasons so that is like one season for summer and one for winter because you can always wear your um, thicker summer clothes for the spring and or thinner winter clothes for the spring 
and like vice versa, like thicker summer clothes for the autumn or thinner winter clothes for the um, autumn as well or the fall, whatever you call it. Yeah, we call it autumn here. Yeah, and um, so then you won't have to buy like clothes for four seasons and um, yeah. So then I'm always jot down on like a notebook like this one how much you've spent and um, also avoid using your credit card because you can you could have spent more than you can afford by using your credit card and um, the next month you will have to worry about like paying your bill so I personally don't have my own credit card um, I just have a credit card that belongs to my dad and I always have to pay him back after I spend the money so then um, every time I spend I would write it down and I would know how much I have spent and then I make sure that I pay him back so um, if I'm sure like most of you have your own credit cards but try not to use them like especially for impulsive buying so yeah and um, so these are my tips for not um, to, to how to spend your money wisely and um, I hope that it will help you um, in you know not spending like unnecessary money and also be able to earn some money too like by you know investing on gold or like either paper gold or like 24 karat gold jewelry and by the way um, avoid buying like 18 karat jewelry because like a lot of them are from Italy and a lot of designer fees like go into it so when you try to sell them you lose the designer fees so um, if you want to invest on a piece of jewelry instead of paper gold always get like a 24 karat um, gold piece of jewelry and um, you can always like sell it back for cash which um, if you know the prices have gone up and um, you could have made a profit and if, even if the price didn't go up you can get get like um, almost full refund back except for the little bit of you know maybe commission that they charge yeah wherever you live so that differs from every country so yeah um, I hope you find these tips useful and um, thanks for watching my video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel bye